pass it on to my, our mother first. For the lunch. Praise the Lord, everybody. by revelation of the Spirit. Yeah. You know what I want to do? I'm going to build my church off of that. Yeah. What's your name? Peter. What that mean? Rock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to build my church off the revelation of who I am and who that book says people can be and what they can have. And if you get around, get around a bunch of scribes and Pharisees, they will stop you and block you. For the Bible says that they will make the word of God have no effect by their tradition. Let's stop by here a little bit. He said, I'm building my church on Revelation. I can't help it that you can't live saved because some lights go round and round. Amen. I can't help it because you can't live saved because somebody bobbed their head. Listen, I don't care. You can bob your head. All these lights will go round and round. Hey, you ought to meet me here at 5.30 Saturday morning. Yeah. Yeah. Some folk I don't like, but I love them. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me up in here. 
praise the name of God. And so I just I just give honor for 14 years. And I was telling Pastor Elam, I said, all the hell I went through, I deserve to dance. I don't know what nobody talking about. I deserve to be a party. You don't know how people that said they was going to be with me walk away. You don't know. Come on, somebody. You know how people stabbed me in my back and tried to make my name mad and all that kind of stuff that I went on. But I found out this morning through the word of God that the trials and the tests, hallelujah, are just like the tears, hallelujah, growing next to the wheat. And the Bible said, don't you mess with the tears. He said, you leave them alone because if you mess with it, praise the name of God, you're going to tear up the field. You're going to tear up the harvest. But what I want you to do is work on your own barn. They just, they, you know, I grew up in the church. They told us that the tears of the week was the saints and the unsaved. They, they were living in the church together, praise the name of God. And all the tears was there, amen, to be burnt, to keep you warm, hallelujah, to keep that field warm so that field can produce that harvest. And sometimes those tears are trouble. Sometimes those tears are heartbreak. Sometimes those tears are things from your past that keep trying to go up and devour your future. Praise the name of God. But the Bible tells us to go ahead and rejoice over fiery trials and go ahead and praise him. Hallelujah. And I look the word. Can I preach this for five minutes? I look the word. Some of y'all want to have church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look the word. Hallelujah. Rejoice up. Hallelujah. And the word rejoice literally means to run up on violently and spin around. I said, my God, my God. Hallelujah. It means that when you run into trouble, hallelujah, you rejoice violently and you begin to twirl and dance. Hallelujah. Before the Lord, the Lord what you tell the devil, you ain't got nothing here. I'm still going to have my joy. And that's what the night is about. Hallelujah. It ain't about a club. This is about our joy. You don't know what my leaders been through. You don't know all the hell they had to take of people talking about. Come 
to ask him. So I did not see myself. So I saw what the defenders were doing. I saw what the devil was trying to stop. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise the name of God. I heard the report. At the end of the play, he ended up in the end zone. But they tell me, one defender came in. Come on, somebody. He came to him and spent the way. Then another one came and he listened to him and he spent the way. And I thought about that this morning in church. And I said, the Bible says rejoice. And rejoice means to spin away. I'm here to tell every last one of y'all that showed up for my 14 year anniversary. I don't care what you're going through. If you keep a praise on your lips and keep thanksgiving in your heart, forget about the economy. Forget about who's not here in your life who walked away. But you learn how to rejoice when the enemy comes upon you. You spin away from them. And by the time you look up, you let your go. Be not weary and well doing, for you will reap if you faint not. Yeah. Whatsoever a man sought, that shall he also reap. Yeah. He was talking about blessing the man of God, and you'll reap it back. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. After that, that happened to me. Now I had some, I had some teary thing that almost brought some teary things, some days since then. But that's the sign that I know that it's working. Yeah. Amen. Uh, one one good thing came out of. Uh, me and my son, we got re 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 reconnected. Amen. God has blessed him now, and he's a minister at, at, at another church, and God is blessing him. That's that's what my see. Let me tell you something. It's not about who comes; it's about who comes back to get home. Oh, that's yeah. that's about you. <laughs> Because today, a lot of y'all here today, let's take 
came back that honor and say, Pastor, it was worth something. Thank you very much. Amen. 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 Uh, that was one great thing that happened. And uh, God, we, we, we were outside doing service and doing food program and all that. And a man walked in our church and said, listen, I have a building. And I said, well, don't come on me because I'm trying to keep the one I got already. He said, no, I just like what you do. Me and my wife, we were talking, and we said that you are the person for our building. I said, well, look, I don't know nothing but church. He said, well, I know some other communal stuff. He said, well, listen, I'm going to let you have this building for whatever you want to pay. Lease it, rather. I'm going to let you lease it for whatever you want to pay. No utilities. We got that. All right. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hey, you thought you did it already. Come on, somebody. Amen. And, and on December, December the 18th it is, we're going to be starting our second church on the east side on Van Dyke. <laughs> So those of you all that sow today, you're sowing into a harvest that you can't even see. There are people that you don't even know that the seed you're sowing today in my life, in this ministry, is going to help us reach the east side of Detroit like never before. And we know that there are other churches there, but it just ain't one like ours. Come on, somebody. And we go on to take down some giants. Do you hear what I'm saying? Praise the name of God. And when God do something like that, I mean, just whatever I want. And the building is immaculate. I mean, programs can be ran. Seats over 400 people. Kitchen. Everything that we need. Amen. All we got to do is share it with some people in the community. But mainly it's ours. And he said, whatever I want to do. If I want to fix it up, paint it, whatever I want to do, I can do with it. That's what you saw. You know what I hear the Holy Ghost say? What you saw into is whatever you want to do with it, bless it. system that we need, amen, to put in microphones, and you know how I like to do it. Y'all see my flow, amen. Praise the name of God. And all the decorations that we need, a mere $7,000 would get us there. And so I'm asking you, amen, let the Lord speak to your heart outside of this uh, 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 meeting. Let him speak to your heart, pastors, amen. Let him speak to your heart about sowing, amen, to our second location. And I got I got one more thing that, that we're going to do. We're going to change the name of our church from uh, United Faith and Family Outreach to City Praise Church. Amen. CPC. CPC. There's something down in there. So you'll see me on TV saying stuff like, God bless you, we're so glad that you tuned in. And remember, amen, whenever you're in the Detroit area and all the things to do and all the things to see, make sure you stop by at CPC. <laughs> People who perish. Yes. We have one vision here. And so wherever this vision, God will make a provision. Amen. Amen. Listen, I, I took up enough time. I just thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you all my committee. Amen. Uh, Minister Powell. 